We be so proud, that's why we so low key. She wanna fly with you, let's make three. Good morning, happy Friday. Oh, I forgot to put on, I'm sorry, I'm giving you my bath, I don't mean to. Um, so I'm, I forgot to put this on, so I'm gonna put it on now. It's NYX white uh, eyelid primer. So, how are you today? So far, so good. I'm happy. It's Friday. Uh, I don't have to work in the morning, but I do have to do a double on Tuesday, which is going to be an overnight and then stay during the day. That's going to be hard to stay awake. Sometimes I have problems staying awake normally after I've slept all night because I don't know. Do y'all have problems with sleeping? I do. So I've already put my um, Jerome Alexander on uh, my forehead. And I put my tattoo eyebrows on. Ugh, running late today, so we're gonna do some a little quicker, a little bit quicker of makeup. I need to get some more eyelashes. All right, as far as color today. What color am I gonna wear? I really wanna try this. I haven't used it yet. The Revlon Gold. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Lamara Exposed Nudes. Alrighty. Well, by the end of the week, my brushes are running low. Alright, we're going to go with cream. Up here on the brow bone. Am I making y'all move? It's because I'm... Yeah, I need to calm down some. All right. This is mauve. Well, that's interesting. On Paul Begley says uh, Congressman moves to declassify UFO documents. That's quite interesting. I guess we'll see what we see, huh? But no matter what, just know God's in control. God made everything. Everything. Anyway. So, speaking of uh, God making everything, he also made the rains for the flowers to grow and all that kind of good jazz, right? For us to be able to drink water and for the little animals to drink water. It's a cycle. Well, here in Texas, Houston area, we had some crazy weather. It was supposed to start around yes yesterday, around the time I was getting off, which is around three. 
and it had just started uh, sprinkling, but not too much that I couldn't stand in the parking lot for a second and chit chat before I got my car to come home. Well, then I stopped and yeah, I'm gonna wait today, so I'm probably gonna um, stop doing that, but I stopped at Kane's and I got me, I ate two of the um, pieces of chicken and I gave Noelle a piece of chicken, the chicken strips, they're very good. And I've got to wear, I like their french fries okay. Anyway, I'm not sure how they make those fries, but they're soggy. Uh, so, between the time I stopped there, picked that up, which was on the way home. I don't, I didn't go out of my way for canes, no. And before I got back on the freeway, the bottom dropped out. And it was a mess, y'all. I finally got home. And, uh, it had slowed down enough. You could see that it had already rained pretty bad. But, I got in the house, and the bottom dropped out. There was crazy winds. Um, it, it was just, there's, there's places right now that is out of, uh, this is rust that's out of power all over the Houston area. Um, downtown, glass, blue every, I mean, actually the uh, Hurricane Ike, it was the same. Of course, Ike was a lot more sustained, but it was, they had over a hundred mile an hour wind gusts. That's enough a lot of not 18 wheelers over on their sides um uh big monster towers electrical towers down um for some reason my phone won't work uh here at the house i'm guessing a tower must be down So, needless to say, um, they've closed schools down and all that kind of good jazz. I don't think it's closed in my neck of the woods, but I'm not sure. I don't know what the roads look like out there on my side. I just know from watching the news, I mean, I've got power, obviously. Thank God. I have a generator on the porch, but Lord knows if it, it's huge. <laughs> I don't know if it works. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> All right, and this is espresso. My leg is touching this desk, and as I put on uh, my makeup, it's shaking it, and I apologize. I went ahead and um, cleaned my eyes before I'm finished because I wanted to get an idea of what I'm looking at, what I'm working with. <laughs> oh, I can't see. That's my bad eye that I'm using. So what are y'all going to do this weekend? My, uh, the 
guys that do the lawn are supposed to be out here Sunday, but I don't know about that. I don't know. Because the ground is just going to be too wet. I think I'm going to have to tell them to wait a week. Because all next week it's supposed to be dry. I got an olive tree that my um, cousin bought me. They're going to plant it for me. So I'm excited about that. All right. Revlon Color Stay. What number is that? 725. Hmm. I don't know. That's the color. It's gold. It's pretty. I checked Google Maps and it looks like my route to work is fine. Oh yeah. And it's flooding again. Poor people. I feel so bad for the areas that flood. I mean, it floods around my house, but thank God my house doesn't flood. Am I in love with this? No. It's not as, but you know what? It's good for a neutral type look. It's not the same as, uh, y'all know how I like my stuff brassy and bright and bold and all that. But this works. This works. I mean, I guess I could sit here for 20 minutes and try putting it, you know, on layering it, but I don't have 20 minutes. So... This is what we're going for today. Let's put the lid back on it. I'm using my Fiora. You know what? I can't use that one. It's got some. Let's use that one. Foera. I'm going to go ahead. I know I put cream up there, but I, I want the brow to pop. Okay. It's just white. It's a matte white. Number 201. Foera. P-H-O-E-R-A. I am cutting my eyelashes down because they're way too big.
My glue is I Envy. Now put some on the band. Set that there. Doing good on time, y'all. So far, so good. I've got to make another cup of coffee before I leave, though. I have a Keurig by my desk, literally. I can roll my chair over. <laughs> to my Keurig. All right. Essence eyelash primer. Looks like that. Go in. Primer on the lashes. Primer on the lashes. I do have a piece of Buzz. I thought I saw a piece of fuzz, but I wasn't sure. But I did. I found it. It didn't end up in my eye. Which is surprising, because usually it does. Alrighty. We're going to use Young Focus. Young Focus Contour Palette Series. Yellow. Go in here and put it underneath the eye. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to call and tell him not to come till next weekend. But I want to I want to be here when they come cuz I, I need to show them exactly where I want the tree put. And I want to watch and see what they do, how they do it. Because if it works out with this olive tree, then I might just go out there and plant me some, you know, some stuff myself. But I want to see how they do it. He's charging me $35. It's not too bad, right? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's bad or not. Okay. This is the Jerome Alexander airbrush.
I have always got allergies, so y'all have to ignore. I even take a pill. Well, I took, I take a prescription medication, but it's, uh, it is, um, like for asthma, and it's supposed to help some with allergies, but I'm sure it does. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but I take another just over the counter. A cheap one, not that is expensive over the counters, the cheap ones. I can't afford all that stuff. And I know you're like, well, you're going to pay $35 because somebody plant a tree and put some uh, mulch around some, a couple other plants up front. Why can't you just take it? You're right. You're right. I know. I'm thinking of this going through, going through my head right now thinking about it. But like I said, once they do it, I see it. And then if I do add any more, I'll just do, I'll do what they did. If I, if I put anything else out there. The thing that I worry about too, though, is I think about if it, uh, when we have the droughts, because like right now we're getting massive rain and, and everything's happy. All the plants are happy. And the next thing you know, boom, drought. So then I got to come up with the water bill to pay all that. I think about these things. My poor magnolia bush is just now trying to come back from the last drought we had. Cause I, I should have, I should have, but it cost me so much. And y'all know I'm alone. It's just me. All right. Smush it all together. Smush up. Get this off my hands because I'll end up putting it all over the rest of my face. This um, tree fell on this lady in her bed. I don't remember exactly what part of the city. But anyway, um, I had problems getting EMS out. Wanna know why? Because nobody has a landline anymore and the towers were down. I wanna see how much it costs to get a landline put out here. used to have one. It used to come in a package like five bucks and you know, more a month. Do y'all ever think about that? Example, my cousin tried to call me a while ago, but Something ain't right. I think a tower's down. It would show me two bars, and then I would try to call her. First of all, it didn't ring here at all. It went straight to voicemail, and so she texted me. Well, I've got the Wi-Fi stuff turned on, but I tried to, uh, so I tried to call her, and it would go, as soon as I would start trying to call, all the bars would disappear.
So yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna try not to. Doing good. Okay, that is Wet n Wild Cherry Frost. And then this is Stay Glossy by Rimmel. Right. This is my look for the day. I hope you like it. I will, uh, I'll talk to you next time. I love y'all. If I don't talk to you before, have a great weekend. All right, bye-bye. We be so proud, it's why we so low-key. She wanna fly with you, let's make three.